Now to Washington, where the threat of automatic budget cuts that could take effect on Friday looms large. And as NBC's chief White House correspondent Chuck Todd reports, there is no deal in sight. Chuck, good morning to you. Good morning, Matt. Not only is there not a deal in sight, there's not even a negotiation in sight to try to get a deal before these cuts go in on Friday. Instead, we're seeing a game of finger pointing. The president hits the road today, heading to a naval shipyard in Virginia, attempting to build public support against a slew of supposedly draconian spending cuts that are set to go into effect on Friday. Virginia, a state that could be among the hardest hit by the spending cuts, also known as sequester, is home to the number two House Republican, Eric Cantor. We're very, very concerned uh, about the impact on the Commonwealth as we are on all states. Another Virginian sounding the alarm on the sequester is their Republican governor. We've had 18 months and the president's got to lead. Congress has got to work with him and get it done. The White House Monday admitted there are no talks or phone calls scheduled this week between the president and congressional leaders. Instead, for the second time in a row, the White House press briefing featured a cabinet secretary making dire warnings about the so-called sequester. Look, I don't think we can maintain the same level of security at all places around the country with sequester as without sequester. And after a week-long recess, House Speaker John Boehner had harsh words for the administration reminding the president that tax hikes will not be supported by Republicans. The president says we have to have another tax increase in order to avoid the sequester. Well, Mr. President, you got your tax increase. It's time to cut spending here in Washington. Speaking in front of the nation's governors, President Obama called on every elected official to act. All of us are concerned about our politics, both in our own parties as well as the other parties. But at some point, we've got to do some governing. Now, a couple of key Republican lawmakers are coming to the White House today for meetings, but it's not on sequester. It's on immigration. John McCain and Lindsey Graham coming here to talk immigration. Again, Matt, no scheduled talks on trying to prevent this sequester from kicking in on Friday. With just a few days to go. Chuck Todd at the White House this morning. Chuck, thank you very much.